Hi everybody, Steve here again. Um, this is the Bob Ross Funko Pop. Uh, now, before you say anything, I know I am English, and he is a, a you know famous guy in America. Now, when I was growing up as a kid, I remember distinctly on either Channel Four or BBC Two, there was this guy with a massive afro and a beard, and he used to do these fantastic drawings and paintings. And even as a kid, I thought, wow, this guy was amazing. So as I've got older, and I've learned more about uh, Bob Ross and uh, watched many of his videos, uh, I found out a bit more about him, about when he used to fight in Vietnam and things, and uh, just what a nice guy he was and what a great painter he was. Um, I just, I just kind of like him. I, I think he's a, a really cool guy. And um, I got this pop because one... As I said, I like him, and two, he has some uh, nice accessories with him, uh, which I think uh, make him stand out as a pop, uh, which I will show you once I open it. But uh, let's show you the, the side, the back, some nice artwork. Uh, does it go on with his painting? Uh, the side, um, now. Bob Ross and his raccoon, so I think it was a pet or something that he had, or he was famous to have a, a raccoon or something in one of his uh, videos, but um, yeah, let's get him open and uh, and see what he looks like. Okay, so here he is, out of the box. Um, so let's, as I said, you're getting the, uh, obviously the Bob Ross figure and the raccoon accessory um i'm not really that interested in the raccoon to be honest uh he looks a bit lame but um the actual bob ross figure is uh is the one i'm more interested in so uh that's a quick swivel and swivel uh, no major gripes with uh, the paintwork uh so he has this nice um distinctive afro and his beard and he's, uh, he's got his jeans and overalls. Nice work on the belt and the back. Um, but here's the grand prize really when it comes to buying this pop is the nice artwork that you get. Uh, try and get the sheen off there. So you can see it's really, really Good detail on the uh, the painting that he's holding, and that is a very much a distinctive um, painting he would have painted, or if it's a replica or something he did before. But that is such his style, which I think is so cool. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the reason for me liking Bob Ross so much was his uh, demeanor and his calmness when he was painting. And uh, to be honest, it's quite good for people that have anxiety to watch some of his videos because. He does have a great effect of just making life simple and um, yeah, just uh, giving that calm and influence. But I should also show the raccoon because obviously that's come with it. Uh, he has Funko Pop eyes, his little tail. Uh, but yeah, just like a, a little raccoon really. Um, but uh, yeah, this was just one thing I, I kind of saw and was flicking through and uh, yeah I had to get it um, but uh, as I said I'm, I'm English so a lot of Americans would definitely know who this guy was but some of people from the UK might not but uh, yeah if you don't know much about him and look, have a look into him just search some of his videos because uh, yeah there's loads on YouTube and uh, just see what the talent this guy had he has his son was also an artist and uh, uh, he was quite good too but Nothing like, like Bob Ross, but uh, oh yeah, the sheen of the paint, that's nice as well. Like a gloss effect. Right, okay, so that's, that's Bob Ross and his raccoon. Stay tuned, bye-bye, take care, subscribe, all that jazz.